Good morning, dear students of class eight. Welcome to the English online learning class. We are going to further continue with part four of the lesson, the great stone face. So till now we had done that Ernest, as told by his mother, that a man resembling the great stone face would be coming to the valley and this was what was told by her mother. Now Ernest eagerly waited for this man to appear as the people in the valley believed this prophecy. One such man did come to the valley. Mr. Gathergold, who had left the valley when was young but had returned back to the valley, he was a very rich businessman. But when Ernest looked at this man, he did not find any resemblance to the great stone face. Ears rolled by, and Mr. Gathergold also died and now people also realized that he was not the man they were looking for. But Ernest had still hoped that such a man would come to the valley who would resemble the great stone face and the great stone face also assured to Ernest, this was Ernest thinking that such a man is going to come. Now let us continue further. It so happened that another son of the valley had become a soldier many years before. After a great deal of hard fighting, he was now a famous commander. He was known on the battlefield by the name of Blood and Thunder. Old and tired now, he had lately expressed his desire to return to his native valley. The inhabitants, his old neighbors and their grown-up children prepared to welcome the renowned commander. It was being said, at last the likeness of the great stone face had actually appeared. So they thought that this man Blood and thunder, who had now become old, and he was earlier a soldier and now a famous commander, and he was returning back to the valley. So people had great hopes and they believed that at last the man resembling the great stone face had actually come to the valley. Great, therefore, was excitement throughout the valley and many people who had never once thought of glancing at the great stone face now spent much time in gazing at it for the sake of knowing exactly how General Blood and Thunder looked. On the day of the General's arrival, Ernest and all other people of the valley left their work and proceeded to the spot where a great banquet had been prepared. Soldiers stood on guard, flags waved, and crowd roared. Ernest was standing too far back to see blood and thunder's face. However, he could not hear several voices. It's the same face, exactly, cried one man dancing for joy. So there was a lot of crowd to receive blood and thunder. Ernest could not see the man because of crowd. But then one man shouted that he's exactly the same man. Wonderfully like, it's that a fact, replied another. And why not, cried a third. He is the greatest man of this and at any other age, beyond a doubt. Ernest, at last, could see the general's face. And the same glance to the side, he could also see the great stone face. If there was such a likeness as the crowd proclaimed, Ernest could not recognize it. Means... Ernest did not find any resemblance of this commander, blood and thunder, with the great stone face. And when he looked for the answer, it seemed he imagined the great stone face speaking to him. Fear not, Ernest, 
said this his heart, as if the great stone face was whispering to him, Fear not, Ernest, he will come. So this great stone face appeared to be talking to Ernest that such a man is going to come. So we are going to stop here um, and we'll be further continuing the great stone face part two. Thank you. Till then, take care and have a nice day.